So let's examine the gravitational potential and kinetic energy of a roller coaster car. Let's suppose a roller coaster car with a mass of 2,000 kilograms is traveling along the following pathway. So from point 2 to point 1 to point 3. Now let's suppose we want to calculate the gravitational potential energy and kinetic energy of our car at points 2, points 1 and points 3. So let's begin by assuming we have no friction and drag forces. And let's also suppose at point 1 our velocity of the car is 0. So we choose the ground to have a height of 0. We choose point 2 to be 10 meters above the ground and point 1 to be 15 meters above the ground. So let's begin by calculating our energies at point 1. So, at point 1 our object has zero velocity and that basically means that our kinetic energy, our energy of motion is zero joules because our velocity is zero. Now what about our gravitational potential energy? Well, gravitational potential energy depends on the position of the object, the gravitational constant g, and the mass of that object. And that's given by this formula. So the gravitational potential energy of our car at point 1 is equal to m times g times h. So we plug in our values and we get 294,000 joules of gravitational potential energy. So all the energy at point 1 is stored in gravitational potential energy and is given by this amount. Now let's work backwards and let's go back to point 1 before our object gets to point, or let's go back to point 2. Before our object gets to point 1, it has to come from point 2. So at point 2, to climb this hill, it must have some velocity. So at point 2, it has kinetic energy. How much kinetic energy? Well, first we have to calculate how much gravitational potential energy it has at point 2. Subtract that from the gravitational potential energy at point 1, and that will give us how much kinetic energy we have, because gravitational potential energy interconverts to kinetic potential energy and vice versa. So, uh, the gravitational potential energy at point 2 is equal to m times g times h, we plug in our values, now we have 10 meters, and we get 196,000 joules of energy. So to find the kinetic energy at point 2, we simply take this value and take this value, subtract them, and we find that 98,000 joules of kinetic energy is found uh, at point 2. So it has this much kinetic energy and this much gravitational potential energy. Now, when the object moves from point 1 to point 3, we have a transformation, a complete transformation of energy. So all the gravitational potential energy goes into kinetic uh, energy because the height at this point is zero. So our gravitational potential energy, mgh, is equal to zero joules because h is zero. And so that means all the energy goes into our kinetic energy of the roller coaster car. So it's equal to this quantity. Now, let's suppose we want to calculate the velocity of the object at point 3. Well, we simply use the following formula. So we just said all the gravitational potential energy has been converted into kinetic energy. So we equate these. We uh, cross out m's because they appear on both sides. We solve for v and we get the following formula. Velocity is equal to the square root of 2 times g times h. Uh, h, our highest point, is 15, g is 9.8, we take the square root after we multiply, and we get 17.1 meters per second. So this is our velocity at point 3.